Tell me what's going on, my friend. They stopped on me last week, and the EP steam light came on, and uh, changed the uh, fuel pump under, under the seat. We changed the fuel pump on the, uh, on the engine. We changed the spark plugs, and it'll, it'll, it'll crank, but it won't stay started. So it, it starts, and then it stalls, or it just it, it, it just cranks, but it, it stalls all immediately? It cranks, and it just, it just turns off. Are there any codes in the computer? I, I, I don't know. I haven't done that. Has anybody checked compression? Compression? Yes, sir. No, no. Has anybody checked for spark? Okay. Well, anytime we get an engine that starts and then stalls, or even if it's just cranking but not starting, there's three things we got to look for. We got to check for spark, fuel, and compression. So at the bare minimum, that's what you or a professional technician would need to do. So I just pulled up the compression here on this engine. It should, a minimum should be 159 PSI. Yes, sir. So, <clears throat> go ahead. No, go ahead. We did check that, make sure the fuel was getting to the engine. How did you do that? We did check that. We took the, uh, the uh, fuel injector, we took that little cable off, and it started uh, shooting out. Out of the injector? All right, well, that's good news. All right. So, it sounds to me like it's got fuel pressure, and it sounds like it's the injectors are spraying, which is good news. So, I think the fuel system, we can rule out the fuel system, although working in a shop, that probably wouldn't be a sufficient test, but based on what you're telling me, I, I would probably go in a different direction. So I would yeah. check compression and I would check for spark next. So you can access one of the ignition coils and you can insert a spark tester into the, the end of the, the ignition coil. Spark tester or a screwdriver, lay it down on the top of the valve cover, have an assistant crank it over while you watch for a bright blue spark that can jump a half an inch of a gap. And if it has spark, I think you can uh, still think you can spray starting fluid into the intake and see if it will run on starting fluid. Maybe there's an issue with the throttle body at that point. If, if it turns out that we have spark, we have fuel, we have compression, it starts and stalls. Obviously, what you want to make sure security lights not on or flashing with the ignition in the on position. And then we're going to want to check for diagnostic trouble codes in the computer system. I was uh, just reading about it online. It's, 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 it's a lot of problems with the it. That's correct. Fortunately, there's not just one common cause for the EPC light to come on on this vehicle. There's a lot. <laughs> electronic power control warning lamp description and operation. Let's take a look here. The electronic power control module checks the electronic throttle control system for static system integrity. Electronic The electronic power control EPC warning light is turned on via instrument cluster during this process. The EPC warning light turns off if no malfunction in the electronic throttle system control is detected. In the event of a malfunction while the engine is running, the ECM will activate the EPC warning light via the instrument cluster. And at the same time, a diagnostic trouble code is stored in the ECM. So something related to the, to the throttle body. Throttle body. Yes, sir. Or something related to it. It doesn't have to be the throttle body, but something related to it. So right now, the important thing is that we got to get it up and running. And and if, if we're having a hard time figuring out what in the world's going on, checking for codes would definitely be a good, helpful test to run. No, sir, it does not. Oh, man. I guess I don't if I can get it out of zone and run that code. Uh... Check for, you can order a scan tool on Amazon and have it delivered right to your door. If, if, you, have, if you can't get it started, that way you can have something delivered. And then you can check for codes that way. Well, I mean, that's a good idea. I'm going to go on Amazon and say, yeah, I got pineapple. I should get it the same day. That sounds good, my friend. Any okay. other questions while we're on the phone? All right, my friend. Well, good, good luck and let us know if anything comes up. Okay, thank you. You're welcome.